are gods, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can Yeah We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can We was on the bottom yeah. Now we headed to the top on my level, don't see anybody. I don't see them. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job. Right. Yeah, I'm always at work. Right. Real people stay by me. Right. Haters wanna do hurt. Right. No, they trying to stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I don't feed them to the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk. Hey, let your mind want to come up So many came and said that, that they're Christ. So right now, when you go in your Christian churches, they saying that they're Christ. But they aren't following nothing that Christ said. They forced this image on you in uh, the early uh, 1600s, right. and they said that this is the this is the image you're supposed to follow. Right. Right. This white man right here. Right. Pay, pay attention to the times. Right. They'll cut off. Okay. Go, go. Uh -huh. Wait, Wait, Let's give me verse 11. Yeah, right. Yeah, Revelation. Yeah, right. yeah, it's yeah. Helpful, fun. yeah, yeah. we're gonna show you. Read, yeah. read the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse 11. Bring it out. Sing. I am Alpha and Omega. Okay, read the first and the Meaning he is the beginning and he is the end. Read. And what thou seest, write in a book. Back in the day, we didn't have recorded cell phones. During the time of Christ, it was none of that. So they had to write it in a book. Why did they write it in a book, Sheldon? So they can reach everybody. There it is. Read. And send it unto the seven churches. So they wanted to distribute it so everybody could get it. The seven main churches got it to distribute it to the people of Israel. Now jump to verse 14. This is this is it. This is it. This is the point. Read verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh-huh. Now I want you to look at this sign. Wool. Hey, you see how you touching your chin your chin? That's a beautiful thing, my brother. So he's saying his head and his hair is white like wool. Now, I want to ask you, when it says his head and his hair, now when it says his head and his, head and his hair, what is it talking about? I want to know that we on the same page. You no, know, it's talking about the hair on his head and the hair on his face, because it's commanded for his men. No, it's commanded for his men to have beard. So Christ walked after Christ. Christ walked up to the Most High God. And we're supposed to be followers of Christ. But guess what? The white man tells us, hey, shake your face. Yeah, exactly. You want a good job? Give me the ball, pretty face, so I can see your chin, so you can look like a little boy. Read it again. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Uh-huh. As white as snow. As white as snow, he had woolly textured hair, and it was white like snow. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ drunk wine in moderation. Read. And his feet. And his feet. If you look down at your feet, are they pretty much the same color as the rest of your body? Or do you have white feet and a black body? You got black feet, right? If you take your shoes and socks off right now, will your feet match the rest of your body? Yeah, to the foremost. So he's talking about his feet. Now let's find out how dark our Lord and Savior was. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? 
Brown. There you go. He said it before I could even ask you. He said Brown. Read. As if they burnt in a furnace. As if they burnt in a furnace. Now the question is, Richard and Sheldon, if you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? It's going to turn red. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you a question. If I burn some white rice in a furnace, what color does it turn? Black. It's going to turn black. Right. So if you burn something in the furnace, it turns black. It might light up red while it's in the furnace, but when you bring it back out, what color is going to be? It's going to be black. So which image right here is the correct and which one is the incorrect? Hey, hey, show me, Richard. Show me which one is the right image. Hey, come back. Come back, Richard. We're still talking. It said, it said that, so you know that. I know that. I know it that. Do you, do, you, do you have a bald head? You 
got a Steve Harvey going so on. So the right arrows now. on the side makes it lighter. Nah, you don't yeah, got it's, that. No, it's, it's a contract. So each one of them does so it says, a little bit different. Should not so round uh, uh, up. Read that again. Okay. Verse five. They shall they not make boldness upon their head. Meaning you won't get a ball in. No, you're, you're fine as long as you got hair in your head. Now read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corner of your beard. Now, Sheldon, the corner of your beard is talking about all this. You see how every man out here that can grow a beard, they have a beard on their face. You are not trying to shave your face. So, Sheldon, it's a commandment for us to grow beards in the Bible. This is what God said, because there's a reason why we grow the beard. Because it separates us. Hey, sis. Sis. Hey, sis. Hey, sis. I just want to ask you a quick question. It's going to take one minute. Just turn around, shout in, and look at sis. What's the difference between you and sis? What's the difference between you and sis? You can grow what? A beard. What's the difference between a man and a child? You can grow a beard. So obviously, God made you grow a beard for a reason. Does God make a say? So the white man's been telling you all these years, it's a mistake that you have facial hair. Go ahead. But God says it's not. We're going to get it out of the Bible Dictionary. From the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Here, a badge of manly dignity. It's a badge of manly dignity. That means it's an honorable thing to have a beard. Meaning without your beard, you ain't honorable. Uh, you know what that? You, you, you're not honorable. Thus saith the Lord in the eyes of the Most High God. Because whose eyes matter? Nobody else matters. Nobody else matters. All that matters is the Lord. That's so right. read that. At, oh, yeah, you got it? A badge of manly dignity. Uh -huh. As a sign of mourning, it was the custom to pluck it out or cut it off. The Israelites were forbidden. Were to, forbidden means you weren't allowed. Read. To shave off the corners of their beard. That's right. Shout it. You are not, if you from these 12 tribes in Israel, you are not allowed to shave off your beard. That's right. Because God put a difference between man, woman, child, and he put a difference. And that difference starts with the way you look. Because guess what? If you walk down the street with a shaved beard, and you got the, the, the shaved face, a young man sees you, and he looks up to you, Bad example to your community, right? Now, Sheldon, you learned that. What do you think it's supposed to do now? Solution time. You're gonna let it grow. Right. You, see, you can let it be a shadow beard. You're gonna have to let it grow real thick. But it's on you, Sheldon. But the, the main point is, don't shave it off. Because when you shave it off, you're not sinning against us. You sin it against the most high God. Give me Matthew 19, 16. It's important for us to know solutions in order to get into the kingdom of heaven. Right. Because as I asked you before, you want to make it to the kingdom, right? Before you grab that, give me first Corinthians. I want to change you. First Corinthians 11. First Corinthians 11. Because have you ever heard uh, in church when you go to back in the day? I know you old too. So you used to go to church back in the day? When we used to go to church, they used to get a women like that didn't have hats on. They used to give them like a little tiny paper type thing they used to put on their head, right? Every woman had one that walked in the church. The men, they give it to them when they walk in. They give it to them when they walk in. See, I know you know. Hey, so what did it, what did the men do when they walked in church? If they had a hat on, what did they do? They took it off. Read this. Hey, how you doing, my brother? We out here trying to give our brothers and sisters some solutions today on how to get out of the conditions of the ghettos of America. Right. We are here to teach them they are according to the Bible. Yes. Because we are the Israelites. Right. But we have been deceived and told that we're African American, Haitian, so-called Hispanic, Native American, but we're not these these bywords. Yeah. All praise. So we're gonna learn some, some stuff. What's your name, brother? My name is Kenny. Kenny? Alright. Kenny, right now we're gonna go to what God commands a man to do. Read that. The book of First Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it in. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So now we're going into the order, into the ranking system. First is who? 
the head of the man, I'm sorry, the head of the man is who? But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of every man is who? Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. So the head of the woman is who? The man. The man. And the head of Christ is God. Meaning Christ even has someone over him who's over Christ. God. Wait, 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 wait. I need just a yes or no. I just want to know who's over Christ. God. God is over Christ. Read that part again. Verse 3. But I will have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. The head of the man is Christ. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the man is the woman. The head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. Now read. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesy. Praying means if you could go in your bedroom and you pray at night, or if you pray, period. And or if prophesy means if the Bible was coming out, read. Having his head covered. Meaning if you have your head covered with a hat on, read. Dishonoreth his head. So when you wear a hat, who are you dishonored? When the word of God is coming out. Disrespecting Christ. Christ. So what do you think you should do? Yes. That's why you're supposed to take your head hat off, children. Because it's the commandment of God. Now go back to the Genesis chapter 20. No, we know we're gonna go with Matthew 19, 16. I want to see where we go, where, where, where brother's heart is at today. Matthew 19, 16. Because are you familiar with the Bible? Someone, yeah, I grew up in the Bible. I grew up in a Baptist church. I grew up in an uh, uh, African Methodist church, an AME church. Baptist church right on the floor. But I love, I love it. Yeah, stuff that we did not relate to us. Stuff that we go to church, the church, the pastor has that around the plate every two minutes. That church, pastor not bringing out any scriptures. He bring out one scripture, song and dance the rest of the, the rest of the time. Mouth service. It's a lot of mouth service and contradictions in the church. Uh, read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So someone came to Christ and asked him and said, Christ, Christ, how do I get into the kingdom of heaven? And now he's going to tell you how you get into the kingdom of heaven. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. He gave the glory to someone else. Christ gave the glory to someone else. Read. That is God. He gave it to the Most High God, to his Father, to our Father. He gave it to him. Because Christ said, when we read um, uh, 1 Corinthians 11, so he gave the glory to, to who was above him. Right. Just like we're supposed to give glory to the Most High God, to Christ. Right. 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 So if you want to enter into the kingdom of heaven, read. Keep the commandment. Keep the commandment. So in order to get eternal life, in order to make it to heaven, you have to keep the commandment. Love. Shudder, what commandment do we go over with you that you just learned and that you just kept? You're an Israelite, but what must you do when the Bible is coming out? If you're praying, what must you do? There you go. All right, now give me Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. This one's for you, because straight up, we just went over this with Sheldon. Sheldon didn't know this. Because the churches don't give us this. Right. They don't read, thus right. saith the Lord. They read, thus saith my heart. But God don't give a damn about your name and break your heart. He care about what he says. Right. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. Bring it out. Thou shalt not make boldness upon their head. So, being that you never heard this in church, it says you should not make boldness upon your head. Meaning that right now you're in sin. Should it shave your head? Yeah, if you naturally bald, it's clean. There's no problem if you got like a bald spot. But you'll see some brothers actually have that. 
So it's okay to go naturally bald, but when you actually take a razor and shave your head, it's going against what God commands. Right, right. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Neither shall you shave off the corner of your beard, meaning you are not supposed to shave your face. This is a commandment of God. Right. And you being an Israelite, you are not supposed to shave off the corners of your beard because you want to make it to the kingdom, correct? Right. You want to make it to the kingdom, correct? So what must you do today? Follow the commandment. Well, what was the commandment that we just went over? What must you let grow? Let your beard grow, let your hair grow. Yes, because that is that is part of the process of getting into the kingdom of, of God. Right. You understand? Are we on the same page? Right? Now go back to Tobit, chapter, chapter 12, verse 10. Because I want to make sure that you guys understand that when you sin, you're not sinning against any of us, but you're sinning against your own life. Right the book of Tobit, chapter 12, verse 10. But they that sin are enemies to their own. sin against your own life? Do you want to be an enemy of your own life? No, you don't. Because you guys said that you just you just said that you want to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. So the wages of you committing sin, such as shaving your face, as minute as it might be, shaving your head, this is a wages a payment for your sin. And the payment was what? Death. You don't want to die because and not make it into the kingdom because you didn't shave your face. Now give me Exodus chapter 20 and verse um, 4. Because verse 8. Because it's important for us to know what today is. What is today? Yeah. Today is Saturday. That's right. Okay, today is Saturday. So what day do we go to church on? go to church on Sunday. All right, now we're going to show you. First, before, hold this, hold this. Go to Le Levitation chapter 2 and give me verse, I mean verse 10. Levitation 2 and 10. All right, yeah, give me uh, verse 6. Verse 6. Levitation 2. Yeah, we are the Jews. You are a Jew. That's right. right. And as a Jew, the, you have to take what's yours that's and that's right. the kingdom of heaven. Bring it up. You have to get what God gave to you. God ordained us all to make it into the kingdom, but it's up to you. Right. He gave you a choice. Right. They are not the Jew. That's Hold right. that. Hold Bring that. Bring it out. Revelations 2 and 9. Because you just said something very prolific. Yeah, because I'm looking at the TV. Man, you talking about it. No, the kingdom is for us. Everybody else in the kingdom, they're gonna be under servitude. All the other nations. But we're gonna find we're gonna say today is the Sabbath. Yes, today is the Sabbath. Sunday is not the case day that God ordained. And I'll read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Bring it out! I know thy work. And tribulation. So the Most High God knows the tribulation, the hardship that we go through all around America. Really? And poverty. He knows that we are not rich, that we are in a poor condition. Right. Because in the majority of our communities, we are going through hardship. We're living paycheck to paycheck. Right. Last hire, first five. Right. We are going through the hardships of the, of the conditions that we have been put in. Right. Read. But thou art rich. But God says that you, Sheldon, you are rich. Right. What's your name again? Kenny, Kenny, God just said that you are rich, Kenny. Right. So God is telling you that you are rich. That's free. And I know the blasphemy. So he knows the extreme lie, Sheldon and Kenny. Read. Of them which say they are Jews. Which say they are what? Which say they are Jews. Read. And are not. And are not. So those white people saying that they're Jews with the yellow upon their head. They are not the Jews. That's, That's right. They are false. Just like they said they are the Jews, they said they were that Jesus Christ was white too. Right. Just like they gave you Christmas, Easter, all those are abominations to the Most High God. Right. We are the Israelites, and it's high time that we wake up out of this sleep. Right.
I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.